Hello there guys, um, I'm Logical Cyclops, and today I will be showing you guys how to detect the player with the highest score in Micah, Micah 4.13. Now, now, I'm going to give the disclaimer that this tutorial will assume that you generally have intermediate to advanced knowledge um, with, my, with vanilla Minecraft commands and with scoreboards in general. So, if you do not have general intermediate to advanced knowledge of the commands, then this tutorial is not for you. So, yeah, plain and simple. Now, carrying on, um, what you'll need to have is your scoreboard that you that you want to detect the player with the highest score in, like so, as how I have it over here, right? So, then, then what you want to do next is have your is have a fake player name as how I have as how I have it over here so make sure you have your your fake play your fake your fake player name okay a f a f well not a fake player name a fake player make sure you have a fake player okay and actually let me change change the score real quick because I forgot to change that so um, So basically, just have your fake player name. Well, actually, this is probably good that I've made the mistake. So you set your your fake player name like this, like so, right? So scoreboard player set high score zero. Well, kill zero rather. Okay. So there we go. All right. So you should have your fake player name. Okay. Now the reason why you want to have a fake player name is so that you have like. Uh, it's so that you have a way of like actually, uh, you'll you'll see you'll see why in a moment. But basically, what you want to do next is uh, is then perform this scoreboard players operation. So you then want to do execute as at and at at it. Well, not exactly like this verbatim, but you get the point. Execute as at entity tag equals player run scoreboard players operation. So then you want to have the fake player be the um what's it, uh the tar have the fake player be the target player and then and then have and then have the executor right be the selector okay which you would put at at s over here okay oh and then um oh no let me take this out. Okay, so basically what this is doing is, is basically, this, this means um, if the selector score is greater than the tar greater than the target name score, then have the target name score be the selector score, but don't change the selector score, um, should, should that happen, alright? That's basically what that does. So, the selector score will... Will remain un will remain unchanged. What will change the score that that would change would be the highest the high the high the uh, fake player high score score, assuming that the selector score is is greater than the high than the high score score. Okay, the fake player the fake player that is right. So that's what that does. So each of those players yes, assume that those are players just for sake of the video. So each of those players will run will run this command, all right. And so if we run this like so, you will see that the high score score had been changed has has been changed to um to the score of twenty four, right? So so as you can see, it went from it went from five to ten, and then twenty four. Okay, so that's how it happened, right? Now, the next thing we want to do is then perform a subtraction operation. So, um, scoreboard, hold on, let me, just, sorry guys, I'm just messing up today. Squ ugh, crap. Scoreboard, so scoreboard players operation. 
Okay, so scoreboard players operation. So the same target selector we have used previously, right? So entity tag equals player, and then we're going to do a subtraction. Oh, wrong shit. Okay, so kills. We're gonna perform a subtraction operation. Uh, like so. All right. So let me just finish typing the code in here. All right. So basically, we're going to be subtracting. Oh God, I've done, I've done this wrong. I'm sorry, guys. Your code is not always gonna be perfect the first time you write it. Anyways, uh, so basically, um. So what this is going to be doing is it's is it's going to be subtracting the newly updated fake player name score with everyone else's score. Now, if we do now, now notice how the the highest player score is twenty four, and that fake player name score matches with that player's score because well that's the highest that's a that's a player with the highest score right. So if we subtract everyone's score with the highest score score. Right, so if we do that, right, we should get. Oh, let's see. I think I've done. Okay. I think I've done it backwards. So give me a sec, guys. So. Okay. So let me fix it real quick. All right, guys. So I fixed it the problem. So I've apparently done this backwards. So yeah, sorry for that mistake. Okay. So now if we do this like so. Let's see, what did we do wrong? Hmm. Okay, this, I know the selector doesn't have to exist, but. Oh, I see. Okay, silly mistake here. So if we do that like so, as you can see, the player that had, that had once had the high score has, ne has now had their score um, subtracted from this from this fake player score, which had result which has resulted in their score and being set to zero, and the player who has a score who has the score of zero would be the player with the highest score, which is how you de detect the player with the highest score. I hope you guys en enjoyed the vid enjoyed the video and found this tutorial helpful. And yeah, see you in the next tutorial.